Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Welcome to another vlog. If you came here for my last vlog, you know that I'm going to be doing way more of these here on my channel. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before we even get started so that you don't miss out on kind of like some new content here on my channel because I definitely want to keep up with the vlogs as I mentioned in my other video. But yeah, I am currently in my workout clothes. I am definitely going to put a sweater on, but I'm going to go work out and I figured I would show you guys a little bit of what I do. I don't do anything crazy and I'm probably not going to show you everything and hopefully there's not people down there. But if anything i'm probably just gonna film it on my iphone so the quality might switch up here a little bit but we'll get back to this camera when i come back I just got back from the gym. I love going to the gym looking like a bum. I actually really like this sweater. I got it from the men's section at Ross. And it has a little peace sign on the hood. It's super cute. And the back of it is like some paradise thing with peace signs and palm trees. Really cute, but I also just picked up my little package. Don't mind my laundry on my sofa, but I picked up a package from my mail room. I got a package of things that I ordered myself. And I'm gonna show you guys, but I'm gonna take a shower and then I'll be back. Okay, I got this pretty big package. Good morning, it is Thanksgiving day. Two days after the last time I picked up this camera. As you guys can tell, I just woke up. My eyes are still watering. My face is still puffy. But I'm going to go to Target really quick. Honestly, I'm in my niece's room. By the way, I'm back at my sister's house. Um, so I'm back in Pennsylvania. But I need to go to Target to get socks <laughs> i just need socks and whatever else target tells me that i need hopefully there's not a lot of people there um i don't know why i only need socks i'm sure my sister can give me a pair of socks but i just feel like i need to go to target so i want to go to target really quick but i also am going to be making the potato salad today so i gotta get back home quick it's actually well it's only 8 40 in the morning and we're gonna eat at 4 30 i think but i'm gonna be making potato salad for the first time so we'll see how that turns out it shouldn't be that hard i'm also going to be making my green bean casserole and i still need to wash my hair i have not washed my hair and my scalp is itching so bad so yes i'll see you guys in a little bit and i'm back home i seriously don't know why um i thought target would be open on thanksgiving day as if it's not a whole holiday like i understand grocery stores and whatnot but why would i think target would be open i literally drove there and it was just like dead empty but um I'm gonna go make my potato salad. My lovely sister was nice enough to start peeling my potatoes. And yeah, we're gonna start cooking Thanksgiving dinner. I looked up a recipe online just to get like the basic ingredients, but I didn't save it and I just plan to like wing it. But yeah, this is everything that I need and I have my red onion and my pepper in the fridge, I think. I hope I brought it. I did, yeah. Um, the recipe that I, last year I literally just ah. mixed it with mayo. I don't remember adding mustard, but same thing. Yeah, so we're just gonna wing it and see how, see how it turns out. Add some we, on the whole, it'll be good. Yeah, exactly. You know a trick to the, when you're cutting onions is to like soak a wet napkin? Yeah, I did that to mom and then like, she was still crying. No, it works for me. It works for me too. Like it soaks up the tomato, I mean, the onion scent. But I think I did it too late maybe. Yeah. Dude, this isn't working today. It's not working today. It's not soaked wet. Soaking wet. Soak it. Ooh. I'm gonna just do half an onion. Yo, let me tell you how. Hey you guys, obviously the paper is not working today. I don't know if it's your napkins or something. Like what brand do you buy? <laughs> uh, the same brand you buy though. Yo, I know that's true, but <laughs> it worked for me before and now I'm like- it's soaked enough. It is, I have three soaked wet napkins. Mm -hmm. 
I'm literally tearing up so bad. I finally washed my hair. I still need to like fluff it out. I feel like it looks a little funny right now, but I got dressed. I'm in my Thanksgiving fits. I just have these like really cute suspender tight things. I actually bought them at Rainbow, I think for like 12 bucks. Whoops. So yeah, I have these like tights, but they're skinny tight. I'm not even going to put shoes on. If I go out, I do have like my little platform boots. But I just have this mesh top, which it's double lined, but you can still see my bra. But I think it looks really cute. Just like these little suspenders. And I feel like it makes my body look cute or whatever. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> I styled my hair using all of my TJN stuff. And I actually just filmed a video. I don't know how good it's going to come out. But I did try to film a video styling my sister's hair using all my favorite products. So if that's up and you haven't watched it already, I'll link it up above. And you guys should definitely go check it out. But I am starving and it's only like 2.30, 2.40. I know if I go downstairs, I'm just going to want to eat, but um, I don't know what else to do with myself because I'm so hungry. I think I'm going to go get a snack and just wait for people to arrive to celebrate Thanksgiving. I don't know why it doesn't feel like Thanksgiving. It really doesn't. It feels like a normal day. Like this morning, I didn't even remember, and that's why I went to Target, but it's really Thanksgiving already, and this year flew by, which is crazy. It just feels so different. I don't know if it's because like we're getting older like holidays as an adult are so different than you know when you're a kid or just a teenager and everything so i don't know we're just growing up over here but i'm about to go downstairs and get a snack because i am starving hi guys so i am back in pennsylvania and it's sunday i'm getting ready for a, another work week so exciting and yeah i had a really good weekend in pennsylvania it was a long weekend for thanksgiving and everything but i'm back and i thought it'd be fun to open up these packages with you guys on camera but i have these three packages here the only thing i remember ordering is this one here so this is going to be a surprise for both of us so I think I kind of know what this one is, but I have no idea what this big, big box is. Uh, let's start with this one because I know what's in here and I'm really excited because I've been waiting a while for this. So yeah, and my hair looks a little crazy because I just got back from the gym a little bit ago. I did shower and everything, but it's just damp from like me sweating. So I'm trying to let it air out, but let's go ahead and open this. So this is from a small business called Jonah Gym. It's a collection of shelf stable vegan small batch foods like jams, syrup, sauces, jerky, and spices. So I really love this guy and what he's doing with food and how he's like recreating he's puerto rican and he like recreates puerto rican staple foods but veganizes it and i think that's so cool he even left like a handwritten note on the back of the card it says thanks for your support jaliana your content has helped me has helped me through my long curly hair journey oh my god he watches my videos i love him he said your content has helped me through my long curly hair journey because he is so really thank you wow i really appreciate that i did not expect that and i'm so happy i've included a four ounce jar of our peach crumble jam this batch is made with georgia white peaches enjoy oh my god he's so <laughs> so nice that was very nice of him so i think he's saying he added an extra jam for me because i ordered two of them here is the blueberry lavender jam that i love and this is the size of the jar i really love to mix this one in with my oatmeal in the morning like i can sit here and eat this whole jar in like two days 
but I'm gonna try to preserve it and <laughs> make it last longer, but it's really, really good. Yeah, so he included a peach crumble. It has Georgia white peaches, sugar, lemons, vanilla, organic spices, and sea salt. So this one's just a little bit smaller. Lastly, I ordered the honey, and this is orange blossom honey. So it has pineapples, organic cane sugar, spring water, art organic flower blossoms, and orange blossom water. You guys should definitely check out his small business. Follow Jonah Jim on Instagram, and just go check out his website. I'll actually leave his link down below in my description box. You guys should definitely check him out. Okay, now onto this package. I think I know what it is. I think it might be polishes, nail polishes from a brand. I hope that's what it is so I can redo my nails. I've had this set on for almost a month already and I'm ready for some new nails. So it is definitely nail polishes. These are from Nail Addict. So there's a total of eight polishes in there. This is their holiday collection. I'm really excited to try this color. It's called Green Elves and it looks really pretty. It kind of looks like a minty, a minty green color almost. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but I'll probably have a nail video up shortly on my channel. And on to this mystery box. I literally have no idea what's in here. Oh, it's from China Glaze. It literally says it right here. Wow, okay, I was not expecting that. Now I wanna see what's in here. Isn't that so cool? Like, I have PR. I get PR. People send me things and I don't have to ask for them. That's awesome. It's like presents, honestly. And I really appreciate it. I really do. Let's see. Ooh, these are pretty. So this is the Jules Royal Collection. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight polishes in here. I seriously need to get a nail rack because I have so many polishes that I don't even know what to do with and my nail room is just a hot mess. But this is really cool and I appreciate it. Wow, I almost dropped all of those. And that's all I have. This is really fun actually. But I'm gonna clean up this mess and I need to go to the grocery store because I am starving and I have nothing to eat in my house, in my apartment. So we gotta do some groceries and I'm doing laundry right now. You guys, I'm gonna show you guys this mess. I don't know if anybody else can relate, but like laundry is my least favorite chore ever. And I will literally let my clothes pile up until it's like my whole closet is dirty. Like I literally run out of underwear and I'm like, shit, I need to go do laundry or I'm literally not even gonna have underwear to wear. That's how bad I, I get it. But I have like piles here of my laundry. Why do I have this much laundry to do at one time? And my colored clothes, I separated all my stuff. My colored clothes is what's in the wash right now. So yeah, I'm trying to do all this and get this cleared off of my floor, folded in the closet, whatever, by tonight. So that I don't have to deal, so that I don't have to deal with laundry this week because that's the most annoying thing. I know, first world problems, I'm so sorry, I'm complaining. So I'm just gonna stop complaining because I know I'm blessed to even have a washer and dryer. I'm blessed to even have a freaking place to live and to have clothes and to be able to buy clothes that I probably don't even really need. So yeah, we're just gonna stop complaining there and I'm gonna go to the grocery store. <laughs>